I guess. gathered here today to celebrate together the joining and holy matrimony of Bill and Ashton. Bill and Ashton, you have joined hands, you've shared vows, and you have exchanged rings. It is my prayer that you would live together as husband and wife until death separates you. By the authority given to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and this state, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Officially, on your anniversary weekend. You may kiss the bride. Don't forget. Go Tiger! <laughs> As a Vol fan, that was really hard to do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Bill Acosta. two long years since we first heard Rachel sobbing in the engagement video and a lot's happened since then. These two have not only moved into a new home and had the most beautiful little girl, they also got married in a private ceremony because two years was too long to wait to make it official and honestly I don't blame them. Having their dream wedding rescheduled multiple times was a little disheartening but these two have handled it better than most people would. I couldn't have picked a better husband for my sister. 
She deserves the world. And Bill always finds a way to give that to her. I'm so honored to have been chosen to stand next to them on their special day because let's be honest, we all questioned if Ash and I would ever like each other. <laughs> but we've grown to be the best of friends and I couldn't be more thankful for our relationship. So cheers to the most beautiful bride and the best big sister. And I guess Bill too. <laughs> Congrats, I love y'all and wish y'all the best. Cheers. So I had to get a little advice when writing this and the best advice I got is the perfect speech can only last as long as the groom can make love. So sorry folks, that's all I have for tonight. It's been great. <laughs> no, but really, me and Zeke have been best friends since pretty much the first night we ever met. We met at a Halloween party and I didn't have a ride home. And he says, hey man, you can just come stay at my place. So later that night, Zeke takes me back to his apartment, which to this day is the coldest building I've ever been in in my entire life. And he gives me a hand towel as a blanket. <laughs> and we've had some great times since then. Like the time that Zeke convinced me that he did not know how to tie his shoes for a job interview. And I spent well over an hour trying to teach a grown man how to tie his shoes. And I get asked all the time, you know, like, how are you and him still friends? And to be honest, even though we give each other a hard time, he really is the most caring, honest, and loyal person that I know. I knew it was going to take a very special person to be able to put up with him for the rest of their lives. <laughs> and from the second I met Ashton, I had no doubt in my mind that you were the one for him. You really do have a special place in heaven waiting for you. <laughs> so I have loved watching y'all grow as a couple, seeing y'all be parents to a beautiful baby girl, and I am blessed to be part of it. I wish y'all nothing but years of happiness. Love you guys. Cheers. Heading out on our own with our hope in the clouds We're starting to see that we're on to something Feel it coming now begins